everybody, welcome to my homestead and welcome to my channel. In this video, uh, we're going for a little drive. We're currently in Oklahoma. We have to go to a specific store to get something for my autistic son. And um, it's snowing, as you can see. So if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, like this video if you end up liking it. Make sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Also make sure to share this with anyone that might find this interesting. So, it's really funny because in Kansas, it doesn't really snow, <laughs> which I, I didn't know that before we moved here. I figured that, you know, it's probably got pretty wintry, uh, but it, it doesn't really. It's a lot more like Texas. We used to live in Texas when I was in the Army, and, uh, you know, maybe it snows a couple times uh, in the year, in the winter, and uh, when it does snow, it's usually not a whole lot. Uh, as you can see here, maybe you can see like the grass and like plants are like poking up through the snow because there just isn't that much. But what you'll also notice is that there aren't any cars <laughs> anywhere. And on this particular road that we're on, there usually would be cars like maybe once every, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds to an hour, to a minute or maybe a minute and a half. Uh, so what happens, and, and it's been like this every time that it snows, like we'll go somewhere and there's just absolutely nobody on the roads. And I, there's a couple reasons for that, I think. One reason is because uh, usually they close, they'll like shut down school and, and maybe you won't have to like commute to work, you'll get the day off. So that's one reason why people wouldn't be on the road. But I think the other reason is because, like, they view it as, it's like, they don't have very much experience with driving in wintry conditions, right? And so, <laughs> me and Jenica, coming from Utah, because that's where we're originally from, and uh, I lived there until my late 20s, I, I'm, I'm used to driving in the snow, you know? Like, I, from the time I was 16, uh, and started driving. I've always driven in the snow. In fact, the day that me and Jenica got married, uh, I had a hotel reservation up in Park City, and it was November, and it was snowing up in the canyon and on the way to, up in the mountains on the way to Park City. And it was on a, you know, pretty steep incline, and there was snow accumulation. It was like way, way, way worse <laughs> than this right here. And it wasn't just me either. There were other cars that were going up the canyon. Um, but it, it just goes to show that like every place is different, but there's also kind of like a herd mentality, I guess you could say, you know, because growing up in Utah, you're, that's just like, you have to do it. Like life can't just come to a stop because it snows because it snows quite frequently in Utah. But here, you know, they're not used to it. They don't have as much practice and it's, I, I guess it's more of like a scary thing to them. And so everyone just kind of like stays home and they're just, it, it's weird because there's just no cars. And I'm not in a truck. We're not in a SUV. I'm just in a minivan, you know? Uh, <laughs> usually the only cars that you will see driving around are trucks. Because I think that's what they think you need to have to be safe. Um, you know, it, it, it's just funny. Like, you look at the road, you can actually see the road. Uh, I think back to one time when I was in Salt Lake. I, if you're from Utah or, or, or you're familiar with the Salt Lake Valley, I was driving down 7th East, and I was by kind of like Liberty Park area. And it was snowing so heavy, and it was rush hour. But because it was snowing so heavy, there was already like, even though there were all these cars driving, the, the, the snow was accumulating on the road. And, um, and you know, there was like slipping and sliding, but everyone was just kind of driving careful. And everything was just fine. Now, I mean, I'm driving careful now. I'm not driving at freeway speed. But, you know, I'm just driving careful and everything's fine. So, I guess the point that I'm making is that... I guess sometimes we have to be careful 
with, you know, following the herd, you know, because I think that if some of them would just kind of like realize that it's not that bad driving in these conditions, then they would do it and they would just, you know, live their life like normal for that day. Um, you know, go, go to a store. Cause like we, we have stores in town. We have a couple grocery stores or whatever, but like sometimes you have to go out of town, go to Wichita or something like that to get something that you need that you can't find in town. And, um, you know, it's not stopping us. We're, we're still just like living our life. And, uh, so yeah, I think that sometimes in all different areas of our life, we have to be careful with times when we do what other people do, when sometimes it's not necessary. Now, sometimes there is good reason, obviously, but, you know, in this case, it's like, you don't need to be part of the, the pack or the herd. Uh, just go do what you, need, what you need to do. And I think that applies also to the gospel. Like, when we hear everybody repeating something and repeating something, uh, but it, it doesn't seem to be, like, founded on anything or it just sounds like a good idea. Well, I mean, go, go and figure it out for yourself. You don't have to rely on other people and their best judgment. And uh, you should try things out for yourself. And, and that's really what the gospel is about, is, like, gaining your own testimony, uh, living the commandments and finding out for yourself that you get blessings when you obey the commandments, right? Um, the, this church, like we, it is a church of fellowship and, and of, um, a community of believers in Zion. And, uh, we all do this together. We all do this work together, but everybody's responsible to do their own work for themselves. Um, and so anyway, uh, I just kind of had that thought. I, I just think it's funny. Nobody's driving right now, but the, it's perfectly fine, perfectly safe, and not really dangerous at all, <laughs> uh, especially coming from Utah. So anyway, that, that's it. Um, if you haven't already, uh, please make sure to subscribe, like this video if you liked it. Make sure to leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. Also make sure to share this and I'll talk to you guys later.